Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about AVEX. AVEX chart basically unchanged. Um, we want to take a look in this video at this potential bullish flag that's forming here. We want to take a look at the wave structure, but um, the structure hasn't changed since the last video. But as I said, we want to take a look at this potential bullish flag and any invalidation points again um, that arose from, well, the, the wave count basically here of the October lows, yeah, because that's what most people are interested in. As already suggested, we're likely dealing here with an ABC structure, yeah, so we had here a small low in end of December, wave A, then a B wave to the downside, overshooting B wave to the downside, indicates some overall bearishness, and then a C wave to the upside, which now is part of this larger corrective rally um, that we're exploring. And then this move up could be just a larger A wave of an even larger ABC structure. So this could complete the A wave, then we should get another B wave. That doesn't need to overshoot, absolutely not. It's actually quite unlikely that it will overshoot to the downside because the A wave is already a so-called flat structure. Um, then the B wave could just be a normal corrective rally, a uh, corrective um, structure, and then we can get this C wave higher eventually. So that means we would be watching for a corrective pullback afterwards for another C wave rally later. Um, but we talked about the larger time frame in previous videos. In this video, I want to focus a little bit here on the structure here because not too much happened. To be honest, also not here. Um, also here, there's not too much uh, price action. But what we talked about in previous videos was this structural resistance area. You can see here the red, basically red resistance zone, um, which is between $20 roughly yeah, and 22 And the price has uh, reacted to it, as you would expect it. The situation is that the move up looks fairly impulsive. I don't think it is an impulse. I think it is actually an ending diagonal, which doesn't mean it couldn't rally, but it just doesn't have the subdivisions that we need for an impulse. Um, a diagonal can also rally strongly and a diagonal can also be a five wave move. Well, it is. Um, it's just that I don't have the impulses in the sub waves, which I want to see. Okay. So the wave count is very much subject to change because in a diagonal, we have to be ready for potential wave count changes. It's just not reliable um, because these sub waves are corrective structures. So for example, this third wave here looks very choppy. It's likely an A, B, C structure and the wave five as well, um, which just is the case in these diagonals, okay? Here, A wave, B wave, C wave. So one more high in a C wave is at least likely as long as we're holding this orange support area with support down there around $17.15. A break below that level will make further direct continuation in the wave C um, of five less likely, less reliable, and it will be invalidated with a break below $15.60, yeah, which is the wave four end. So um, we're dealing also with very corrective looking declines here. That, as I said, could just be a B wave here. Yeah, it's a three wave move down into our communicated support area. We've now um, highlighted here on this chart a potential trend channel. That trend channel at the moment seems to be broken to the upside, but we don't have any volume and you see that the price doesn't really do anything. So breaks of trend lines on weekends typically fail and they lead to something different. So it might just become a more complex B wave. Essentially what really needs to happen for a confirmed breakout. I mean, it would already help to break above this last swing high, which is at $23.20 yeah twenty three dollars and sixty pretty much yeah twenty three dollars and yeah twenty three dollars and thirty so if we count this as an a b c structure in the b wave then this would be a break above the b wave of wave b and that would be a suggestion that the c wave to the upside is already unfolding but essentially i gave you the key um levels the key support levels and as long as they are holding the focus can remain on higher which doesn't mean this is a great setup to trade because literally we're talking about maybe one more high in a C wave and that could be it. But where could that take us? 
where could that take us? The idea is that on the AVEX chart, um, it could take us into this region here, which is around 29 to 30 dollars. Um, we've got the previous wave four high in this region. We also just need one more high that would work out. And um, it's the 38.2 retracement level as well at 29 to 30 dollars. In addition to that, if I measure the target for this C wave to the upside based on the length of the A wave, which occurred in February, so between December and February, then the 29 to 30 dollar level is the 1.618 extension target. That is one of the common targets for a C wave. You see it here, it's around 30 dollars. Um, so there is a cluster of resistance in that region. Yeah, that's my update about AVEX. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.